again, your father is probably overwhelmed. Great. I love <laughs> <you>. <laughs> Hi there, welcome to K Reacts. And happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and all that. And we're starting off the season with Christmas with the Cranks. I don't know a lot about this one, only just kind of the general plot that a family decides to kind of forego a traditional Christmas and I think go on a cruise. This is like a photo op right here. Look at him. Also, Tim Allen is in this movie. So I guess without further ado, uh, let's start. Anyway, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And the full link will be on Patreon if you want to check it out. The link is down below. And I'm just going to quit talking and let's get into it. Yeah, be suitable for children. Look out. All right, Barney, look out. You're still a baby. This guy. Hey, bud, what you doing up there? Oh, hi. Hi. Oh, hi, sir. Indeed, that is Tim Allen. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, that looked like Jimmy Lee Curtis in that picture right there. I love you. I love you. Where is she going? She's acting like they're never gonna see her, like, the entire time. Like, phone calls, you know? I need that stuff from Chips. I didn't bring the umbrella. Run. Well, I still need it. It's gonna have to wait. Run. Oh, I'll go. Look, it's, it's just sprinkling. It's just sprinkling. Yeah. <laughs> I expected that. What's the matter? I just talked to Blair. She called from the plane. She called from the airplane? Do you have any idea how much it costs to call from an airplane? <laughs> That would be my dad, 100% my dad. These are my parents. My mom's all, oh, my kids. And my dad's like, what are they doing? Like, costing money. You know why I don't want one of your stupid umbrellas? Because he's already wet enough. Because he's drowning, oh my gosh. Yikes. I just went on vacation with my sister and her boyfriend and that was us. We were out in the rain and I was so wet. Morning, Luther. Hi, Mr. Crank. Luther Crank, that's a name. I can already tell. She is like super into Christmas. She's been wearing Christmas something in every scene we've seen her so far. A lot of depression at Christmas, you know? Yeah, well. I would just love to forget about it. Hmm, <laughs> boy. Gonna be sneaky with this opera. Wait right there. Okay. Oh gosh, oh no. No. In no. her little cardigan sweater. A brilliant idea. Oh, <laughs> oh no. She's still not on the same page yet. Come over here, turn around. What are you doing? Sit down. Sit down. Button up and sit down. <laughs> this poor woman. How much is this going to cost? $3,000. Wow. We save money? Absolutely. Wow. When do we leave? High noon, Christmas Day. Uh, on Christmas. Oh, <laughs> jeez. So uh, I am simply this is gonna be interesting. skipping Christmas. That's going to be super hard to do. Mrs. Crank, we've got to talk about your Christmas invitations. No, we don't. Leave her alone. So pushy. Taking a break. Um, we're not going to do Christmas this year. <laughs> How do you simply not do Christmas? Lots of people don't. Not me, but lots of people don't. One year off, no Christmas whatsoever. Jeez, so judgy, everybody. We're not buying a Christmas tree this year. Oh, gosh. I mean, you do have an extra $3,000, can't you? Jeez. Everyone's so touchy. Oh, gosh. Oh, it's Dan Aykroyd. <laughs> Things are about to get crazy. The zoom in house. <laughs> so you're 
you're uh, really skipping out. You got it. And that's okay, everybody. Oh my goodness. I will not be forced into doing this. Now, what if they were actually, like, poor? Like, they couldn't afford it. Would they still be getting hassled like this? I mean, I guess if you're really poor, you wouldn't live in a neighborhood like this. I gotta get to work. Still working for the man, huh? As a matter of fact, it is a man I work for. <laughs> Thought they would have made your partner by now. The passive aggressiveness around here. Bah, humbug. Good morning, Mr. Scrooge. Oh, gosh. Laura Crank. We're here for Frosty. No. Oh my gosh, the neighbors are crazy. Who wants matching decorations anyway? So unoriginal. Vic, she's leaving. <laughs> Run or drive. That car, Laura. <laughs> Put we your window up. Frosty. <gasps> These neighbors be crazy. <laughs> Follow me. Oh, I Mr. see. Rice. Hello, Mr. Crank. Oh, gosh, that's too much. No. Oh, dear God, this should be outlawed. Nora Crank? Gosh. Uh, oh, oh, there's a brisky. Um. <laughs> this is too much. Hey. Go away. This is so uncomfortable. We've made the front page. We've made the front page. What? This is so. Oh, that picture too. Who took their picture? I don't think I'm coming back from this cruise. Yeah. Girl, two more days and we're out of here. Well, I'm glad she's just determined as he is now. Let's do this. I'm mad too. I try to be old man. Stop that. Stop what? Stop calling me old man. You're like ten years older than me. Am I? Yeah. Ten years. That's it. Dang, these houses, though. <laughs> Their house. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Our house looks like that, too. We don't decorate the outside of our house, really. Go lay down. Go lay down. You stink. And our big money maker okay, this, is our calendar. This should be okay. What are we uh, talking about? You buy one every year. Or ew, so. ew, no. We are. What a jerk. He said he didn't need one. Oh, no. Well. Bells on bobtails ring. Making Why are they like old fashioned carolers? Oh, it's so lovely. It's not lovely. They're trespassing. They're trespassing. Of course, you're here. Good grief. Oh, they ended? They didn't. I'm gonna pop up in the window. The I knew it! These people need to chill. Oh gosh! Kill it. Nice. Going all home alone on them. Luther, your face. What about it? It's like it's frozen or something. Oh! Oh, he looks like, you know, in Santa Claus 3, the plastic Santa Claus, the replacement Santa Claus. I mean, there's no tree, and no lights, and no music. <coughs> Ugh! I don't know. Hey. Ugh. <laughs> Don't tell me she's coming home for Christmas. Hi, mommy. <laughs> she's coming oh home for goodness, Christmas. It's mommy. How are you? Where are you? I'm in Miami and I'm coming home for Christmas. What? You couldn't have said that earlier? We've been friends for years and he's just so wonderful. We fell in love while working together. And... Yeah. He's asked me to marry him. Of course. What? what? Tell them all about Christmas there. The, the tree, the decorations, frosty up on the roof, everything. Oh no. Tonight? Yes, tonight. Just in time for our big Christmas Eve party. Ah! You are having the party, aren't you, Mom? Gosh. Of course! 
course we are. No. I, I am speechless and your father is probably overwhelmed. Okay. <laughs> what? No one's coming to your party. Whoa, you know what? I like it, I'll take that. Really? Yeah, how much is it? 75 bucks. It is not. Right there. Oh gosh, that is the saddest tree I ever saw. $75? You really paid $75 to like, chuck it? Daddy, you want my tree? Yeah, and I can get it back in your house before you return. That's ridiculous. It's a good idea. I will leave it just like I found it. Oh gosh, I'm a nervous. Tackle him. Oh! I mean, I said it, but... Who's gonna come to this party? How are you gonna cook this food? Let's take the real delicate ones and put them on the sofa. Is this against the law? Of course not. Just don't break anything. No! No, they're gonna... Oh my gosh, this is so stressful to me. Uh-oh. This lady's gonna race her for it. Yep. Run! Where are you going with that tree? Spike and I are just taking it to my house. He's antagonized every everybody. Don't. This this has gotten out of control. If he says Trog didn't loan him the tree, then he's telling the truth. Here's the key. It's not a burglary. Wow. Gee. Way to come through, kid. Yeah, no, no. We're just busy cooking away here, getting ready for the party. Well, of course I'm making caramel Gosh. cream pie your favorite. This mom needs to stop. This mom is literally incapable of saying no to her daughter. Would you like to come? You mean that? Absolutely. I mean, it's just drop-in. Yeah, you got one guest. This is ridiculous. Oh, oh. No, not the devil eyes. You spent too much time around the furnace. Ow. And your ankle's broken. Let these guys handle it. Thanks, guys. Oh, you just only hit that other fireman in the face with the ladder. Let these guys handle it. Thanks, guys. No one was there to catch him. Okay, when does she get in? The plane arrives about 8 o'clock. Oh. And all the neighbors are going to come together now. Oh, hold on. Why should we do this for him? Yeah. Yeah. He hasn't done anything to you guys! We're doing this for Blair. Who we don't care about at all. We, the audience. I don't know if we could do that. Yes, you can. Shall I call the chief? Oh. Man, this guy does have all the power on here. Blair! Hey, we have been 55 minutes early. What? Of course she's there early. <laughs> Enrique. Officer Fromai here. There's so much stuff happening. Us. Hi. Merry Christmas, Luther. Uh, can I ham. help you? Oh, yeah. He brought the ham. The road's so slow. I talked to everyone. No one knows that guy. Well, he knows Sam. What is it? How do you? What? Do you... I know, right? He's like the Christmas angel. Oh no. What have you done? No. Absolutely not. Looks like Mrs. Doubtfire, which I haven't seen. Police! Eat this! Okay. Oh! All right! <laughs> we got him. They have to sit in the back with these two. Don't tell me they're bringing the criminal to the party. Parents are dying to see you. Didn't Luther do a great job on the house? Uh-huh. 
Oh, brother, the tanning lady. Hey, kid. Come here. No. Enough time to get warm, grab some food. Then it's back to the police car. Oh, brother. Blair. Hi. Hi. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Who is this guy? I just wanted to say um, thank you to all of you, to our friends and our neighbors, for helping us make this really the most wonderful Christmas Eve ever. You really have shown us the true meaning of community, and thank you all so much. Same goes for me, double. Oh, gosh. That's awkward. You're still moping because you don't get to go on your precious little cruise. There's still time. I mean, I would want to go on the cruise still. I spent six weeks planning this vacation. Six weeks. It's longer than they've been dating. I think it is just very rude of her, though. But... Luther! Heck. Well, I'm a allergic to pork, and uh, Bev's not much of a meat eater. <laughs> well, not to worry, because... Uh... Mel's hams are generally just filled with a, a gelatin and a fat life substance. Disgusting. Please. Feeling the Christmas spirit? Dang, the contrast. So we're not taking the cruise. And uh, Nora and I would like you guys to have it. Wow. Well, I was wondering what was going to happen to that cruise. Too late to call the kennel. We can't just leave him. We, we we could ask Jude Becker. We'll She's watch allergic. the cat. He's hated that cat. He'll watch the cat. I'll take the cat. Yes. Hey, hey. Uh, does this mean we have to start being nice to each other? <laughs> nah. What in God's name are you doing up there? Blair came home. Oh, no. Fromar took down the ladder. He went inside. Forgot about me. <laughs> no. Hey, what's in that bag? Oh! I told you you could use an umbrella. Oh my gosh. What? <laughs> That's why he knows everyone. It's the guy. <laughs> Skipping Christmas. What a stupid idea. Maybe next year. <laughs> so Dan Santa doesn't actually have a sleigh. He has a Volkswagen. Got it. Merry Christmas. All right. Well, that was Christmas with the Cranks. I like that. I really like when Christmas movies like, you know, feel like Christmas movies, which was ironic in this case because, you know, they were actively fighting against anything to do with the holiday. Um, the plot took a bit of a different turn than I was expecting because I was kind of thinking that it was going to take place like on the cruise ship and there would be like hijinks there and whatever. But this was good too. It was just different than what I was thinking was going to happen. Um, it did drag on more than I thought it would. Um, it, and like, it got a little bit repetitive, just like, um, you know, they don't want the Christmas, the neighbors do, and it was just like, we get it, we get it. Um, but I mean, it didn't get boring. It was just, like I said, a little repetitive. Um, I liked when it did take a turn. And suddenly they decided they did want Christmas and then it got kind of chaotic and suddenly everything was super stressful and exciting and crazy. And that's when I was kind of like, oh, <laughs> um, however, um, on that subject, there were a couple things that I was like about like the daughter calling the day of to say oh by the way we're coming in for christmas and here's my new fiance like that is so inconsiderate and so rude like especially to your own parents like for real because like what if they added their plans which they did like you can't just assume that they're gonna keep doing the same thing even if they have for years like at least give them a heads up even if they are doing the same thing for years just let them know that's just, that was just so annoying to me and then the mom like straight up lying about everything like how hard is it to say like oh sorry like we have other plans or if they just decided to cancel i'm like oh sorry we're not having our party this year like i know it would disappoint your daughter but like it is what it is like lying just makes it so much worse it was just mm. Like, I hate that. I was almost hoping that everything would turn out terribly. 
just so that they could both pay for their actions, you know? But it was whatever. Um, I did like that the neighbors pitched in eventually and kind of redeemed themselves a little bit. And it was like very nice and a little Christmassy ending, you know? Um, but speaking of the neighbors, <laughs> they were so over the top the whole time. Whether they were antagonizing them or helping them, they were just so like, oh, you know? And like, for crying out loud, like, let these people live their lives. Like, mind their business, mind your business. And it was just so funny to watch. If it were me, I would've been so mad. Like, I'd be moving out of that neighborhood. That's just crazy. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, um, it was a pretty good movie. I liked it. So I guess thank you for watching with me. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And the full link will be on Patreon if you want to check it out. The link is down below. And I will see you next time on Carrie Axe.